Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. Let's talk about sex. All right, let's talk about sex. People. Let's do this, baby. <laughs> Ryan's all-time favorite subject. Yes, 100%. But talking it about important. it is actually something that is not probably one of either of our favorite subjects. Actually talking about it. To talk about? about it. No, I like to do it better than talk about yeah. it. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. So let's talk a little bit about why sex is important. It's yes. a vital part of your marriage. And it needs you can to make sit closer sure. closer to me. Okay. You're it like needs, a little far away. You need to make sure Smuggling. that you're doing it. Okay. So one of the things that sometimes stops, especially women, from mm -hmm. having sex more intimacy. often is intimacy. But yeah. it's also just being so busy, being overwhelmed with busyness, being yeah. overwhelmed by pressure, or having some kind of other issue going on in your marriage. Right. Or a lack of self-confidence, because sometimes that plays into it too. So there's a lot of things that play into it, but if you open up the lines of communication and talk, even though it might be a little uncomfortable, you can usually figure out what's going on. Right, so let, you know, lack of intimacy or loss of intimacy, kids, careers, um, hidden secrets, like if one spouse oh, yeah. or the other has something going on that they're not open and honest about, all of those are going to decrease the, the sex drive. So it's things that you need to talk about. How frequently should you have sex? How, you know, how do you want to have sex? Right. What puts you in the mood to have sex? Yes, that one's really important to talk about. Yes, a lot of sensual touch. I Blair prefers that I, you know, empty the dishwasher and <laughs> clean the sink. What you're first. about to say. <laughs> before we do that. And make sure that you also talk honestly and Checklist. openly about, you know, again, going back to open communication, it's important that you talk about what feels good and what doesn't feel good, what you like and what you don't like. And I know that as women, we just assume they should know these things, How but it's know? really important to talk them through yep. and to discuss it. I, I agree 100% with everything you just said. Thanks. So, that's so awesome. make sure your your little like quick tip for communication today on sex is stop talk and about think it. about what do you <laughs> like best Mm -hmm. Ask your partner what they like best yeah. and then talk about how often you guys feel like you need to do that to keep your relationship strong and healthy. Right. So here's a really interesting thing that you need to make sure you know is that for men most of the time sex is physical, right? They feel that they physically need to have sex, right? For a woman, sex starts in the brain. So realizing that she is feeling loved, that she is feeling safe and secure, that her partner wants her, and that she's wanted and desired, and those things start in the head, they don't start physically for a woman. So it's important that men and women realize the differences mm -hmm. and understand that. So a lot of times you'll see quotes and funny memes going around saying like, sex starts the day before, sex starts that morning, or the sexiest thing I've ever seen my husband do is vacuum the floor. Mm -hmm. Talk about the best floor play. So making sure that you understand that, but both sexes understands it differences of what is intimacy and what mm -hmm. is sexual and what it arouses the other person. And I think there's a mental checklist, like you're saying, that um, you go through anyway, just kind of so if you factor that into the time and you just kind of decompress, get everything that needs to be talked about, um, talked about and then you know set the mood with the environment and everything and then one other tip I'm we're gonna give you is remember how we learned from the sex therapist dr. Shaw about mm -hmm. deep breathing so oh, a lot yeah. of times it is stress related about why you're not wanting to do that or the only time you seem to have is in the evening right so trying to find other times would be helpful mm -hmm. but if it does seem like it's always in the evening take some long deep breaths take yeah. 15 long deep breaths I'm just smiling because Blair is um, very organized and so on her calendar, she kind of plans everything. So sometimes I'll literally just go to the calendar. Oh, there's an opening between 10 and 11 a.m. <laughs> Let's does. just put Ryan's sex in there. He does. Schedule it. Just schedule the calendar. It. If and you happens. need to schedule right now because of the time frame that yeah. you guys are in, the life that you're in, the craziness, do mm -hmm. it. There is nothing wrong with that. It actually gives you a little thing exciting to look forward to. Right. Kind of like date night. Yep. And then there are going to be times in your relationship where you don't have to do that and you guys can be more sporadic because there's not young children running around grabbing you all the time. Right. And if it isn't happening, then we highly recommend seeking a therapist to talk talk about it. It's more comfortable than I thought it would be, right? And Absolutely. It just kind of opens up a safe place for everybody to talk. And You can also get our bonus feature with mm. our sex therapist, Dr. Shaw. Yes. If you're part of our online class, In It To Win It, that is all online. You get six weeks of amazing information, but you get that bonus week, week seven, which is all about, um, with the sex therapist, all about sex. Yeah. Because you are truly better together. together. <laughs> Like a dog. <laughs>